Hey guys, this is a very short tutorial on just updating your Drupal 7 site to a newer version. It's a, a security update, so it's not a major update like Drupal 6 to Drupal 7. Uh, I think I have 7.19 installed and I'm going to update to 7.20. So I'm logged in as admin and this is just a, it's a drug rehabilitation directory. Uh, it's one of my websites. So to update, you obviously you log in as admin, and then if you, no matter where you go, if we go to configuration, if you if your site is not up to date, you'll have this red uh, warning telling you to to update. So we can see the available updates, and here we have the droop. These are the modules that aren't up to date, and these are the core updates. So you'll see I have. 7.19 installed and they recommend 7.20 and what you want to do is just download the latest version and you can do that just by clicking on this Drupal core link and it will automatically take you to the newest version and you want to download you can do either the tarball or the zip file I'm going to download the zip file alright so now you have the new you have the new files for the new package and you need to upload it to your server so I'm gonna open FileZilla you can use uh, another FTP client or your file manager for your host or whatever and I'm gonna connect to my website now this is the root of my Drupal install so I'm gonna go and get the update the updated zip file that I just downloaded which is right here Drupal Seven, and I'm going to extract it. So now you should have this folder called Drupal 7.20, and then you'll see these files includes MISC modules. They're all here, includes MISC modules, and so you just got to overwrite everything. Um, I don't know if I mentioned this, but you should definitely, definitely do a backup before you do this. Do a backup of all your site files, and then backup your database. Uh, you can do that through either PHP My Admin, or you can do it an easier way and download the Backup and Migrate plugin uh, module. Sorry, uh, for Drupal, and it's pretty much just a one-click data database update. So definitely backup. And I'm just going to check these files because sometimes things can happen. You see, we have site all, sites all. And then if you go in your themes folder, I'm using the responsive theme. So just make sure that you you don't have any anything in the in the update you downloaded, any themes, custom themes, because you don't want to write overwrite anything. So um, yeah, now we can do we're just gonna drag it over. I'm gonna select everything drag it over and it's gonna prompt you to ask if you want to overwrite I'm just gonna always allow this so this is gonna take a while so I'm gonna pause the video and I'll be back after everything uploads alright so I'm back guys and everything's uploaded and I'm going to my site and I'll go to configuration and you'll see that red bar is gone and we can also click on reports up here and go to available updates and you'll see our Drupal core is updated to 7.20 so very easy to update just make sure I can't I, you have to back up back up all your files and databases before you do any kind of update like this because it can mess up some stuff depending on um, what modules you're using or what code you've customized or anything like that and then just go through and make sure the pages are all accessible do a search just to make sure everything's working views this website's using views so make sure it's all working yep alright so that's how you update you do a simple security update on Drupal 7